August 22nd, 1982. Well, here we are in St. James Park in, uh, in London, England. We got to Brooklyn after a minor three hour delay. Kathy and Sven got a mobile home. And again, I stayed at Nan's and didn't speak to her. She stayed at her boyfriend's house. Not purposefully, of course. You must understand. Anyways, the next day we walked our feet down the stumps in Manhattan. Some guy thought we were from West Germany, being tourists. I bought a groovy silk a paisley scarf and one of those leather canteens. We discovered some excellent cheap used clothing and shit stores. And then David, my wonderful brother who never wastes a penny, lost $40 to a street card player. Keep your eye on the red card. I shot three bricks. We talked to some girl who was up from Columbia, North Carolina, South Carolina. She was cool. We also wandered around Central Park, threw grapes at pigeons, and tried to peg them. Watched an excellent magician, watched a sword swallower, juggler, ventriloquist, and dealt with some reborn again Christians. No Krishnas though. And then came the most exciting part of the day. Not only did we get on the wrong train, not the A, but we crashed as soon as we sat down. As I wavered in and out of the sleep dream state, I finally came alive when I saw daylight in the train and water below us. Don't ask me where in the F we were, cause I just couldn't tell you. So we had an enjoyable ride in the New York underground. Everything moved along pretty smoothly after that and we got off the terminal okay. I managed to overcome my innate bitchiness and was feeling pretty high and tripped out by the whole experience of flying to another continent. We met these two guys from Frankfurt in the terminal and talk about a spot of hard luck. First of all, they couldn't check in because some fool spelled one letter, the U with the umle in Bernard's last name, wrong on his return ticket home. When I asked them how their trip had gone, they answered, well, he, the other one, lost his ticket and had to put out $500 to catch up with Bern, Bernhard. They rented a car in Vancouver, which broke down 40 miles outside of El Las Vegas, etc., etc. The checkout line for us was very long, but we talked to a few people. Just bullshit around. We were lucky as to getting our tickets quickly, though. After that, we purchased our first British pounds. $1.84 was the exchange rate. Got high walking around the terminal and freaked out when we realized that our plane had been here for a while.